tonight's date night is Say in the more, it's love and French experience. And we got this bag from our local library. Yes, our son is here on our date night. But, uh, yes, it's a funnel bag. And the first thing it comes with is this cookbook. Mommy, mommy. My Paris Kitchen by David Le. The bell <laughs> I don't speak French. Okay, the first meal I'm going to be cooking is this French onion soup. For dessert, I'm going to be making these eclairs that Paris Paris or Paris Paris and for our main meal we're going to be making steak with mustard butter and french fries yum so we're going to be cooking out of this we're cooking the french onion soup the eclairs and the steak with mustard and french fries wow. I'm looking forward to the soup I know and we also have a puzzle of Castle Mount St. Michael in France. And then just like our last date night, we had this table topics for couples. So we're going to be doing that again. If you haven't watched our Italian date night, you need to go watch that. I'll tag that right here. And then we have our movies. It's Midnight in Paris. Paris, Paris. Should I even try to say that? Paris, mm -hmm. I love you. <laughs> and chocolate. There are three maybe choices. And then we can listen to the Say Le More Romantic French Classics. So that's mm -hmm. all that's in our bag. Hopefully he'll go to sleep early tonight. Okay, since I'm starting off with the French onion soup, I have cut up all the onions, nice and thin. Now I have my onions in a pot over medium heat with the butter and sugar, and I'm going to let it cook for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to stir it occasionally. On low heat, I'm going to let the onions and well, I added the pepper, salt, and garlic, and I'm going to let it cook for an hour and a half on low until the onions are a nice brown amber color. Make the hazelnut praline. I melted sugar and then added the hazelnuts in it and just let it melt together. Now I'm making the pastry cream. I just whisked some three egg whites and some cornstarch together and then added three tablespoons of sugar. And now I'm going to slowly drizzle in some warm milk. And that should make the pastry cream. Or the beginning of the pastry cream. Okay, so I added the butter and I whisked and whisked until it came out to this creamy mixture. Oh, and I added vanilla too. Here is the pastry part. I cooked it in the saucepan. The flour and eggs and butter and, and then I mixed it together and then I popped it out onto this. They're not the prettiest pastries I've ever seen, but I'll just call them rustic. Now I'm going to cook them in the oven at 375 for 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, for the steak with the mustard butter and french fries, I started off with this, the steaks and it has the cilantro cut up and the chipotle chili pepper 
and sea salt. Now it's going to sit uncovered in the refrigerator for about an hour. Okay, so look who decided to join us today in the cooking process. Yes. I was resting. Peeling potatoes. No, I'll give that to you. You were working today, and so I decided to start cooking before you, but you're going to help me with the main meal, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's going to peel the potatoes and then cut them up for we the peeler. You're welcome. Thank you. And then he's going to soak them in some salt water. Now David is sharpening his knives, getting ready for the potato cutting. And James is freaking out because he's hungry for dinner. You're doing a good job cutting there, sir. Wow. I don't know if that's the that correct way to do it, but. It's not a. Proper. <laughs> did you go to culinary school? He did. Where'd you go? Uh, I went to uh, oh, Okay, uh, that's not a good advertisement for him. <laughs> okay, so David's putting the cheese on the soup. James is freaking out because he doesn't like his dinner and he's tired. And I'm over here working on the pralines. Gonna put it with the cream and then put it in the Nutribullet to Mix it up. All right, our first course is our French onion soup. Have you taken a bite of it yet? I uh, know. We have music and a sh our dinner and a show apparently. Baby Shark. <laughs> well, music was supposed to be with the night, right? Thought it was supposed to be French music. Okay, so you know it's pretty good. I like it. It's really good. While we eat, we can ask questions. You know, we did that one last week. Before this, my favorite French onion soup was in Mexico. Just bypass your favorite soup. Rocco? Rocco? <laughs> Our crazy house. Okay. Okay. So this, this is your. Went I'll, I'll, I'll switch with you. Okay. Well, you don't have to do that. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Your water thing? Do you have a secret dream of something you'd like your partner to do for, do for you? Oh, sure, honey. Do I have a secret dream of something you'd like your partner to do for you? I'm not sure how to answer that. Your head's barely in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to answer that. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> what? Like what? Didn't say what. <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to get in trouble. Sometimes you wish your spouse would do something or wouldn't do something. Maybe little things here and there. And I'm trying to think of something I can say. Oh, I, that's not where my mind was going at all. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. I don't even know where your mind is. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. By trouble making me mad at me. I guess I really don't have a secret dream. Everything I want you to do for me, I already tell you. Well, that's true. I guess technically I already tell you everything I would like you to do anyway. So, it's really not a secret. Okay. Do you eat differently? I'm sorry. Do you eat differently when you're you're alone? Maybe, maybe not on purpose, but Daddy, 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 Daddy. Um, I mean I definitely eat differently when I'm don't have uh, someone saying my name every three seconds. Or somebody cooking you dinner. So I I do eat differently. I eat when I'm ready to eat. I don't have to <laughs> He's saying that because it took 
me a long time to make this. I know, but I, I was really cooking there, like I four mean, different things at one time. I'm really giving her a hard time. Actually, I really want more of the soup. I. Not really. I, I mean, I, I don't try to. If I do, it's not. You snack a thinking. lot. I eat easy, more easy things. Like I don't. I'm not gonna get in the kitchen. Well, that's not true. It depends on if I'm trying to be healthy. Oh, well, that's true. I mean, I, I don't. I don't go extravagant or anything. Like if I'm trying to be, if I'm on like a strict diet, yes, I will go into the kitchen and cook myself some really healthy stuff. But I don't know. It depends on the situation. I mean, if I was single, it'd be different, I guess, but if that's how you want to state the question, too, I cooked a lot different, though. I mean, I, at least before I met you, all I did was eat anything healthy. But no. That's not how that came out wrong. I mean, I was on a big diet before I met her, because I had uh, weighed a lot more, so on a diet and currently that's funny because I weighed less when I knew him before I knew him so I uh, was currently still on I mean I technically already met it like year and then you met her, me but I, and I, we I ate just kept, Oreos I was just more strict we, we worked out and ate Oreos I'm more way. strict but I think most people are I think you were more strict when you were single so, okay I mean, I think most one more question right now it's easier to What's the most romantic thing your partner has done for you? You do a lot of romantic things. I mean, you cook me full meals, or meals, that's pretty romantic. You give me little gifts, and, you know, that when I don't ask or expect them. And I try. Little things I don't even, you know. Ask for. Right. Or I don't, well, right. I mean, little things I don't think. Gift, but you got me one. Pretty good. Like what? <laughs> well, I mean, like stuff like holidays. But I don't expect to get some of that. Like Easter. Yeah, like that. That's not something I normally get some or think about getting gifts on. I normally, there's only one holiday of the year, I think, not counting birthdays. That uh, would be Christmas. I'm um, almost done. I'm talking to our friends on YouTube. Okay. The most romantic thing you've done for me. Your proposal was pretty romantic. I put a lot of effort in it. Huh? Yeah. Well, I said I put a lot of effort in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then... And then our... Um, Massage on the beach was romantic. Yeah, I did that too. <laughs> you did do that. And let's see. I guess we haven't been that romantic since James was born. Not in two years, though. So. I mean, it's just little gestures, I say. You know, obviously, I mean, not counting the big gestures, the little gestures. I guess that stick out that you do. Alright, on to the next meal. Okay, now for the potatoes. I'm actually drying them under these paper towels because they've been soaking in salt water for over an hour now. Then I'm going to bring them over here to this other pan and we're going to drizzle it with olive oil and then put three different kinds of herbs on it. Okay, so I have all the potatoes herbed with rosemary, sage, and thyme, and with olive oil, and now it's going to go in the oven for about 45 minutes. For the mustard butter, I got room temperature butter, dried mustard, and Dijon mustard, and mixed them together. And now I'm going to put in two mounds on a line my plastic line plate and I'm going to put it in the microwave or not microwave uh, and put it in the refrigerator to chill. The steaks are on and cooking and it smells amazing. This smells amazing and the fries smell amazing with all the herbs. I can't wait to jump in. 
Okay, here's the finished product. Looks pretty good, but too bad I accidentally cooked it well done and we like it medium. But I think it's still gonna taste pretty good. It looks pretty juicy. Okay, so looks like we don't have any light anymore. Sorry, it's late and dark. Um, but David said, good thing is David said it doesn't look like it's well done. It's just medium well, so that's good. So yeah, and then I forgot to put the, when you saw it, it didn't have the, they didn't have the butter on it. But it has the yummy the mustard. mustard butter on it now, too. It's good, it's chewy. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's really good. He's not a big um, ribeye eater. He didn't like the marbling in it. The flavor is great. I'm mean, just not. French fries. I know the. They're good too. The marbling helps the flavor. flavor. So I don't mind like that. Question time. Which habits or traits would you like to give me up to prevent passing them on to your child? I'm OCD, and I have some anxiety and depression, too, that I don't want him to have. What about you? Definitely have. As far as bending down for front anxiety. Uh, no, I think he's already OCD, so. I guess the most thing I wouldn't want to pass down is my um, ADD and uh, I guess my self-confidence issues. And your spine and back problems. Oh. And cancer. You don't want to get that either. Well, I guess that's not really that's a not trait, a, but. No, that's not a trait. No worries, it's right to tell you that I know of, so. Hope not. If we had unlimited funds, where would we go for a romantic getaway? I would still go back to Mexico. That was just my favorite trip. I loved it. I of did. course. Unlimited, Unlimited yeah. Well, it's because they were still so nice there. Because I've heard reviews of several places that not necessarily were the best, even though they were more expensive places to go. However, though, I do want to go to Hawaii very much. And I want to buy like Fiji and stuff like that. Bore Bore Bore. Bore. Paris. Especially since we're talking about doing French. I would definitely love to go to Europe. I very much want to go to Ireland. Yeah, you want to see where your ancestors are from. And apparently I'm Scottish, so I would like to see my ancestors. I'm either Scottish or Irish. Can you tell by looking at James's hair? Mm. Okay, one more question. What have you learned about yourself from pre previous relationships? I'm stubborn. I don't know. I haven't had as many previous relationships, but um, I have now noticed my anxiety. I know that I didn't notice beforehand. Well, that, but in general, but yeah, I can see. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I, didn't, I guess I didn't really know back then to realize, I didn't realize that my mouth was back now. Are you scared breaking up with you or something? No, uh, with me as a person, anxiety, no. Well, how did that mean, how did that relationship teach you that you have anxiety? Alright, we're gonna 
finish our dinner and we're going to come back with our dessert. Okay, here are the eclairs and they kind of stuck to the pan when I was trying to get them off of it. So instead of putting the cream inside of the eclair, I decided to put it on top of it and then put the chocolate sauce on, side, on top. We will see how they taste. They look pretty yummy. Okay, we're going to try the eclair now. Different than anything I've had. Well, it should be down on top too. I already explained that it got stuck to the pan, so I had to put it on top of the pastry. <laughs> no, but really, thank you for being here with our. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> thank you for being with us on our date. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you got some ideas for your stay-at-home date. We didn't mention that James went to sleep right before our meal, so that's why it was actually kind of quiet. Well, so, for the most part. Well, we do have um, four animals. But thank you again. I hope you liked it. If you did, thumbs it up. Subscribe. Hit that bell. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. Okay, we'll see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye. Alright, so this week and this date night, we are doing the French experiment. Uh, experiment. The French experience. 